Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to take a plug. This is the uh, top tube of the bike that I'm making, and we're going to wrap it in carbon fiber. Now, the first thing that you do is lay out your carbon fiber, and I'm going to give this two wraps. And so I'm just going to lay it here. Give it two wraps and a little extra. Then I'm going to take my electric knife. I'm just going to cut this out. Okay, so I got my carbon fiber cut out. It's about the right shape. You'll notice I've got some mylar here. This is just some three mil painter's plastic. I overcut it a little bit because I'm going to also use this as the vacuum bag. Um, you'll also notice that I have some pill ply here. Once we get done wrapping our core, with the carbon fiber, we're going to wrap it in this peel ply. So let's go ahead and go out and we'll do a layup. Okay, so now I've got all my stuff laid out and let me go through what I've got here. I've got my plastic down, I've got my carbon fiber, and I've got my core. I've got some tongue depressors. We'll be using this to mix up the epoxy with. I'm using a two-part epoxy. It's easy epoxy, it's aircraft grade, and it's a 47 to 100 ratio. Got a mixing cup. Make sure that you get mixing cups that are non-waxed. I'm gonna go ahead and put some epoxy in this cup. Okay, then you mix this up for about a minute. You wanna mix this up real good. The hotter it is outside, the faster this stuff seems to set up. Right now it's pretty nice. It's probably around 80 degrees. Mixing this up really good with the tongue depressor. Okay, so we went ahead and got our epoxy mixed. I've also got here a three inch um, paintbrush, just normal. I get the cheapest ones I can find because after I'm done using it here, it's no good. Um, one thing that I've noticed that helps a little bit is these bristles are sometimes a little bit loose. So I go ahead and pull out as many of the bristles as I can so they don't get into our carbon fiber layup. Now this paintbrush here, I got at Harbor Freight, it was 79 cents. Okay, so I've got my carbon fiber laid out how I want it. I'm gonna go ahead and move the core. And then you're just going to take this and do what's called stempling. And what we're trying to do here is get the carbon fiber wetted out. So I want to make sure I get this really good and wet it out. When we vacuum bag this, I'll use a, a breather cloth and set it up so that the breather cloth will soak up a lot of the excess epoxy. Okay, so I went ahead and wetted out this cloth. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna wipe this core down. Um, what some people will do, and what they do in the airplane industry when we're doing experimental airplanes, is we'll, we'll put micro balloons and epoxy together and then wipe them, uh, the slurry, they call it, over the, the, the core. Now I'm not doing that here because I'm gonna burn the, uh, the styrofoam out. And I've also found that this, this styrofoam, which is just, uh, the stuff you get at Home Depot. It's just extruded polystyrene and you can get it in the insulation section of your Home Depot or Lowe's. And um, usually it's made by by Dow. Um, I believe this isn't, was made by a Owens Corning. Not sure. Anyway, um, I found that this is pretty smooth and that the uh, carbon fiber will stick to it pretty good once you've coated it with a layer of epoxy. Okay, that's wiped down pretty good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stick this on the edge here. I'm just going to push it down so it sticks. Now one of the things you'll notice is it'll stick to the, the plastic a little bit. So I just bring it up kind of slow this other side here. And what I'll 
do is I'll wet it out here a little bit so that it sticks a little better when we roll it. Make sure everything's tight and straight. Now in order to get a nice straight line, I'll take these scissors, and these are designated to working with the wetted out cloth, because I won't be able to use them again inside. I'll just cut this. As well as I can. Okay, so I went ahead and straightened this out. It took me a little while to get it. Now, sometimes I'll, you have to wait until the epoxy uh, cures a little bit or until it's a little more sticky to get some of this cloth to, to stick down right. Um, so what I've done here is I've got my pill ply. Now I'll usually go ahead and wet this out just a little bit so it sticks. But the, what the pill ply does is it helps um, wick out some of the, uh, the epoxy and it also makes a clean bonding surface to the carbon fiber when we when we pulled the uh, pill ply off um, so you don't need as much sanding or any sanding at all okay so there you have that now I'm going to take this piece of plastic that I've been using and I'm going to turn it into a vacuum bag.